Okay, so some people had issues with their EEPROM chips on their board, so I added a new setting to the next firmware update that allows you to use an SD card to store the settings. So if I go here, and let's just adjust my Z offset, because this is stored in EEPROM, I'm gonna change it to 2.025. We're gonna go ahead and save it. And you'll see when I hit store settings, a little light to the left of the header on the LCD will blink. So it wrote that to the SD card. Now if I turn it off, turn it back on, you'll see it'll boot up, and if I press the button twice, it'll pull the offset from the SD card. We're not using the built-on EEPROM chip on this board. If you saw it flash right there, it read the EEPROM. Press this twice, we should have negative 2.025. Now, if I turn it off, take the SD card out, so it's not in the slot, turn it back on, you'll see that the offset is gone. So this is actually storing the EEPROM in an EEPROM.dat file on the SD card, and this will work for all boards that we have configs for, including the 8-bit boards. Now this does take up extra space, so some of the 8-bit boards might not be able to use this, but you see here, my offset is gone. So if I turn the board off, put the card back in, turn it back on, and I press the button twice, which will bring up the baby step menu, it should have that negative 2.025 in there because it's going to read it off the file on the SD card. So let's go ahead and see if that works. Look at that, like magic. So if you have a messed up EEPROM chip on one of your boards, the 2.69 update will allow you to uncomment it in the firmware and then you leave an SD card in your printer. Now, if you have to put G-code on here, you turn your printer off, you take the card out, put the G-code on it, put it back in, turn the printer back on, and that's all you got to do. So in the firmware, you'll see under the community requested features, there's an option right here. So you just uncomment this line here that says define SD card EEPROM emulation and then update your firmware and that's good to go. By default, this will be commented out. So you just need to do boop boop, compile the firmware, update it, and there you go. Now you have working EEPROM again using an SD card.